Wait, we just had an asteroid or a meteorite storm. Why do we keep calling them asteroids? They're meteorites, man. What the hell? Okay, um... I... F Whoa! <laughs> that fell right outside the door. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to go over to the starter area, uh, the default starter area, I should say, and uh, raid a ship or three uh, in an effort to get ourselves some food and food seeds and any other goodies that we can come across. So what we're going to do is, uh, first thing we're going to do, though, actually, is we're going to make ourselves a T1 solar panel. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that for power. And again, not uh, too concerned about how things are arranged over here for the moment. We're just putting stuff down and maybe I'll even put two of those down. So let's just go find two more pieces of cobalt. So we have plenty of power. Uh, there's a piece right over there. But we wanna we wanna get to the tier twos as soon as possible because we're gonna need those for the food growers. They use, um, an, in my opinion, an in uh, or unproportionate amount of power. I think they use way too much power than they should, but it's the way the game works. So we gotta work with it. We gotta work with it. The inventory's full. Um. So yeah. I'm anticipating that we'll find everything we need to make this start here successful, meaning we won't die because of lack of food. All right, good. So that should give us a decent amount of power. What we want to do now is we want to make sure we have enough stuff to make another shed. And I know I can pick things up along the way, but... Let's just make sure we have it from the get-go, and then we don't have to worry about it. Um, and I think we do. I think that's all we need for a shed, a door, and a tier one or a tier two crafting station. So we have two waters on us, and we're about halfway down on our first water. So uh, where are we? How are we doing, by the way? Two fifty. Um, yeah, we're 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 getting close there. I think we're probably just about as good as we can get. We could maybe add a little more. Actually, yeah, let's add a little more pressure before we take off. We're going to need... Um, oh, there's our Tier 2 veggie tube. Okay, good. Uh, titanium and iron for that. Um, let's grab all the iron out of here. Maybe not all of it. We'll put... Um, let's make four more drills yeah okay we'll put that one there and whoops I forgot to hold the control key down good okay that'll boost our pressure just a little bit more um do I want to set up the t2 oxygens before we leave I probably should do that Probably should do that. Yep, I know the food level's critical. Let's take another food to stave that off. Um, okay, so the tier two veggie tubes, we would need to make a total of four. And we're going to need an extra ice and a silicon. I think we'll get everything back from the tier ones. All right, so we have four silicon right there. Uh, but actually, we need, well, we need two of those. So let's go get two silicon and four ice. And that should do the trick. That's also why it's a good thing that we just upgraded our power, too. And 
hopefully we'll bring some high level plants back, especially if we can find a golden chest to boost that oxygen even further. Right, okay. That's everything we need. Let's grab a couple extra silicon whilst we're at it. Maybe another ice tube. And maybe a magnesium and a cobalt. Try not to come back empty. And we'll grab this mag. So we'll get these uh, veggie tubes, uh, tier two veggie tubes set, and then we'll take off. That's just gonna increase our oxygen significantly. Okay, we don't need any of that stuff. Uh, did we need? No, we don't need. We don't need titanium at all. Not for the veggie tubes. Let's temporarily put those in there. Um, God help me if I forget to bring them back out, though. I won't. Uh, at least I don't think I will. <laughs> uh, we need one more silicon. Okay, so let's um, grab the flowers out of you guys and deconstruct, deconstruct. We'll do a tier two and a tier two. And we'll put you in there and you in there. Okay, let's pull you out and you out. Deconstruct. And we'll move these over to here too so they're all together. Put the Pestera in you and the Lerma in you. Very good. Okay, so we've significantly increased our oxygen output now uh, from what we had before. All right, now let's make sure we have two titanium. Uh, yeah, all of our water and oxygen. We need four iron, two titanium, and two silicon. All right, we should be ready to set out. Why don't we... Let's take another food for the road. All right, we're down to three, but I fully expect to find food on this mission and probably quite a bit of it. Uh, let's at least hope that that's the case. All right, let's take our water. We just learned the indoor ladder. That'll become uh, that'll come in use uh, come in handy or be useful, depending upon what my mouth decides to say. In the near future, and I'm also thinking that we could probably put this. Uh, oh shoot! All right, you know what? We need that. <laughs> Let's go back. We're, we're not quite halfway down on our O2. Let's go back and make that, because it just means we're going to be able to carry that much more stuff, you know? Uh, what do we need to make it, by the way? Uh, oh, I guess we can't tell that here. That's worth going back for. It's probably going to want one of these. Uh, I don't know if backpacks use cobalt or not, but let's grab one. sure we don't fall down in that hole. I think we left a, a shed down in that canyon too, didn't we? All right, what do we need for the tier three? Two aluminum. We already have the titanium and silicon. Ah, shoot, we're short one aluminum. All right, let's go run into this cave over here. Grab some aluminum. Very nice that it's nearby for us. Uh, right here. Since we're down here, we might as well get a big old batch of it. Just double checking that I have my O2 and water and all that good stuff. Is that, uh, no, that's ice. I don't think there's any aluminum out this way. There might be, but not sure. Okay, let's go back now so we don't have to burn an O2 bottle. Oop. 
I'm not sure if exertion increases, uh, you know, food, water, oxygen consumption or not in the game. I've not noticed that, but it might. Never really tested it. Tier 3 backpack. Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, we'll put the rest of that aluminum in there. Okay, once again, we want four iron, two titanium, and two silicon. And we have another row here that we did not have before. It's a beautiful thing. We have the tier two heater. All right. Um, that requires two iridium. One tier two heater puts out 3.6 thing thingamadoodles of heat, whereas these only do 1.24. So it's going to be worth it to deconstruct both of these and just make one tier two uh, in their place. We do need one of these aluminums. It's a good thing we brought some extra back. Damn good thing, man. There we go. We're already making more heat. If I had more iridium, I'd make another one, but currently we do not. We'll fix that later. It looks like we burned one of our titanium to do that, though. There's one right there. Okay. Now I think we're ready to set out. <laughs> more stuff will unlock as we go, but we got to go. We got to do this, man. Get her done. Uh, we have one water and two oxys. So I think we find uh, there's a pretty decent chance we'll find water in uh, the ships. But even if we don't, it's pretty easy to make with all the ice that's around. Um, and I want to start at some point, I want to start thinking about where we're going to do our first permanent base. Uh, it's my intention to have multiple bases in this playthrough. We probably will have one, you know, we probably will have one, like, main base, but, um, you know, we'll probably do more than just that. I think this can be a little further away than it currently is. There's the first wreck there. Um, we could probably take that down. Yeah, let's move this a little further out. It's closer than it needs to be. And we'll move towards that ship, but also that's kind of the pass into the starter area down there. What we could do maybe is put this shed up on this hill. Be nice, until we get beacons anyways, it'll be nice to kind of have it up high so it's still visible to us. And that's a real, oh, there's a chest too, nice. Okay, so our base is, I can just barely see it, it's right there. So this is really a pretty good, I think, halfway point here. A little bit better than what we had at first. And I think I'll actually put the door on this side. Um, yeah, I guess we'll put one of these in here. They're cheap and easy. Okay, let's go check out this crate. And if it's got some good, I mean, I'm sure it does have some good stuff in it, but what we might end up doing. Oh, that is really good, guys. Really good. In fact, I'm going to eat the space food right now uh, to boost that. Yeah, that is a super good chest. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually store this stuff though in our in our little halfway house here. Uh, because we need all the inventory space we can get to, you know, when we get to the wrecks. Plus we'll have to make more storage there too. All right, so let's put you right there. Uh, this is so good that we found that too. And it's, and it's not eggplant, which is even better. Um, we might need actually two of these, I think. No, no, we don't, because we're going to keep the iron. No, one of those. We don't need that, that, or that, or that. We need all of that there. And we will come back and get this. So we're already, just by finding those two things, we're already, I'm going to say damn near out of the woods when it comes to food. Um, still a possibility that we could get screwed, but I'm almost even wondering if we should leave that ship alone for now, because there's a lot of good stuff in that ship, and the longer you wait to loot those things, 
uh, the better the the stuff is because it kind of it scales with your you know with your stage so why don't we do that let's just go for the ships in the new the newbie area and we'll leave that one alone for now and that way we'll get better stuff out of it later it is dark out here wow <laughs> darkity darkity dark At least the nighttime doesn't last too long in this game, though. So there is that. We might... Do we have enough to get to the wreck? Mm, probably not without taking an O2 bottle. We might be able to pull this off, though. Well, you know, pretty soon we'll, we'll be able to get an upgraded O2 tank anyway. So, yeah, we might be able to, to get away with not putting another one in between here and the wreck. I think if we made a beeline for our our shed that we just put up back on the hill from here, we could make it. And, you know, we'll always have an O2 bottle because we don't break the rule of not having one in our inventory at all times. If worse came to worst. We might actually end up setting a... a maybe our first significant base up here, but I want to... Um, you know, I want to make sure we have at least have our feet under us, if, if you will, uh, in the ice planes first before we do that, just because, you know, that's kind of what we advertise this series to do is start there. Okay, there's our progress screen. That's good. We'll, we'll make that later. Uh, all right, so we got one water and two O2s. Uh, let's go ahead and start checking out the ship. We're looking for food. We're looking for seeds. And anything else good that the game deems to give us. We won't be able to de deconstruct the servers until we get the tier 2 uh, deconstructor. What do we have in here? Very good. Um, actually, that's really good. Okay. We need all of this stuff for oxygen production. So I will take it. We still have quite a bit of room left. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's deconstruct this stuff. Got a couple of chests in this next room we can check. More food, more Pestera seed, and the cloth. Okay, that's what we can use to make our agility boots when we get back to our main base. And there's another chest here. More food and more seed. Okay. Yeah, we, we're in super good shape now, you guys. Let's take this water right now so we can deconstruct this. We'll go back out to our base and drop stuff off, and then we need to make another water. Because them's the rules. Let's make some storage chests to put this stuff in. Uh, let's make another one. All right. I want everything to go in here. We got two cloth. That's great. Put the two seeds in there. That food is basically means we're going to live. I, I know I'm, I sound awful hesitant. Oh, look, there's another thingy over there. But it's just that, you know, things were such a struggle in season one with the food. But it was a location, too. I mean, the waterfall is really far away from here, and there just wasn't. That's good stuff. A whole lot of stuff around, you know. All right, we need to find some ice for water before we do anything further. And I see, here's a piece right here. Okay, good. Water will no longer be a problem once we can make the water condenser, but that's a little ways off yet. So for now, we have to rely upon ice. All right, I'll just put all of this stuff in here. I'm not worried about sorting things at this point. Okay, let's go back into the ship and keep looting. So we broke those down. 
We come back here. We got to deconstruct this. And this one, too. And we'll have a heater to take apart, which will give us all the stuff we need. Oh, nice. All the stuff we need to create another one. More food and a pestera seed. Really good. Here we got a, a chip. And more food. Yeah, so good. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to get all of this, so we'll have to come back for one more trip. And then that's all pretty much we could do in this noob ship here until we get the tier two deconstructor. And then we can take the servers apart for circuit boards, which are super, super precious in the later game. We have, uh, yep, we've got resource asteroids coming down. That's a good thing. Again, not worried about sorting anything. We're just loading stuff up and I'll worry about getting back to the main base afterwards. Yeah, we're, we're just doing absolutely phantasmagorical on food right now. Phantasmagorical is a real word, in case you guys didn't know that, by the way. Just letting you know. All right, cool. Let's, let's go back and get the rest of the stuff out of here. If you're new to the game, this is how dark it is in these ships without a flashlight. It might as well be pitch black, right? That's why you got to really have a flashlight before you go into these places. Oh, there you go. T3 oxygen tank. So we're already able to make it now. Uh, to that other hut without having to put another one in between. We could probably even do it with our tier 2, but the tier 3 definitely means we can do it. As long as we don't dilly-dally. In fact, I should maybe see if I can make that here. What do we need? Oh yeah, easy peasy. We just need to find a titanium and a silicon and we're golden on that. Okay, a titanium and a silicon. I keep double tapping my spacebar to fly but I can't do that yet we will be able to eventually but not quite yet is that uh yeah there's a blue chest over that way too very nice so right now we have 200 units of O2 I think this gives us I don't remember what this gives us 280 so we almost Went up by another hundred uh, with that. That was amazing. Okay, let's see. While we're still here in the area, I think what I'm going to do is let's take a food to kind of get that under control. Um, and we're going to leave all of this shit here. And let's go see if we can hit a couple of golden crates because what that's going to do for us is it's going to give us really good loot, but more importantly, it's going to give us um, golden flowers or golden seed and what that does is it generates like 600 percent o2 it's just amazing and we can put those in our veggie tubes and then really start kicking ass on the uh on the oxygen production to get that food grower though again i'm pretty confident now we're fine on food we're not gonna we're not gonna die because we don't have food all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the labyrinth here and we we're looking for the ship, which I'm going to save off looting until later because um, it will have better stuff if we wait. Um, where the hell is that thing at? They don't call this a labyrinth for nothing, man. We do have a blue chest here. Uh, let's take the food, the cloth. Oh, shit, we're taking all of it. That's such good stuff. I can't pass it up. Uh, but we can't loot any more blue crates because we, <laughs> we need to keep room, uh, save room for the for the gold crate. We do have two O2 bottles, right? Okay. Yeah, I went. I think I went. Uh, there's the aluminum fields. So actually, it should just be up this way. We are going to definitely have to take an O2 bottle. But I think we'll be okay as long as we get to that gold crate and then scooch right on back. There's lots of super alloy along here. We're not picking it right now because we don't need it right now. All right, there's the ship. So let's come along here. And 
then we're gonna go around this area and over to here okay we'll take our first o2 bottle and I believe it's just right around this corner huzzah our first gold chest of the series uh, oh, and even a rocket engine, too. Okay, and if we deconstruct this, we get one aluminum and one super. All right, we got to skedaddle back to the base. We're fine, as long as we don't screw around. Um, we're going to go this way. And back up through here. I just went down the wrong part of the labyrinth, and so we went the long way around. Do I have any room? I have room for one thing. Let's do the chip. I'll have to come back for the rest of that later. More asteroids are not asteroids, meteorites. Okay. Hopefully they don't try and hit us. We're somewhat protected down in here. Another blue chest. We'll mess with that stuff later. It's good stuff. And our ship is back over this way. Could have gone a little further to the left, but it's all right. Not even gonna bother looking up at the sky. We're just gonna keep moving and hopefully nothing bonks us in the head. Very good. Alright. Let's put all of this stuff in here. That rocket engine was a nice find. You know what we could do with the chip? In fact, we have two chips, I think, right? Let's just set up a temporary blueprint screen. Just need a silicon. And then grab the other chip out of here. And we can just consume them right now. There's our tier 1 agility boots. Beautiful. And a microchip compass. And okay. We can make the tier 1 boots now. I'm pretty sure we can. Look at that. Boom. 15% movement speed. Nice upgrade. Okay. Now we're faster. We are faster, faster, faster. It's a beautiful thing. Let's put those uranium in there. Let's keep going there. We're going to have to make another crate here. Um, I think I'll keep that food with me. Because we'll consume it here in just a little bit. And I'm going to turn this guy this way. Wait, we just had an asteroid or meteorite storm. Why do we keep calling them asteroids? They're meteorites, man. What the hell? Okay, um... I... F Whoa! <laughs> Shit! That fell right outside the door. I think what we're gonna do... is let's gather up everything we need to make another... shack over in the aluminum fields, because we're gonna want to do that anyway as soon as we get the extractor. And there's... There's three gold chests in that area that we could we could nab. Where's my silicon? Alright. We're gonna just have to go find some silicon. Okay, I just don't want them damn things to fall on my head, man. So cool looking. All right, let's go. Uh, I do want to grab another ice uh, to make our requisite water. Whew. All right, we got a no two. We got a space food. We got a water. We're going to build a shack when we get over there. Uh, we just need two silicon, which we'll just pick up along the way. Now, this shack later on is going to be used, like I said, for um, when we put our ore extractors over there. The aluminum fields, uh, which is that biome straight ahead over there, is a really good place to just put a whole shit ton of extractors down because 
Yeah, that's another O2 bottle. You know what? Let's take this right now. That wasn't wasted because it still didn't quite get us all the way to the top. We'll get the rest of that case later. There's another crate there too. See, this is the noob starter area, guys. So it's there's just a lot of resources around here because most people, uh, at least historically, have started in this area. Um, and I don't know, maybe there's our next gold crate, by the way. Maybe they uh, have changed that in Uno. Look at that. That's great stuff. Okay. The golden seed is the most important thing in there for us at the moment. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's just, there's so many good resources around here. All right, we want to go a little ways into this biome uh, because we want it to kind of, there's another blue crate, cover us uh, in a lot of different places. Uh, I mean, so we kind of get around the whole biome and then maybe even then some. So why don't we set the our little shack up here? Oh, good. We got a beacon. That's going to come in handy. We'll set you up here. We'll do a, a thing here. And let's grab some iron and we'll, we'll set down one crate for storing stuff. And usually what happens is, you know, I load up a bunch of these crates on camera and then off camera I haul all the shit back to the base because you know you don't want to watch me do that it gets a little boring <laughs> I don't mind doing it. it's fun but it's part of the game uh, whoops okay let's uh, do a storage crate here and we'll do another one here and let's just put all of this stuff in here we don't need to carry it around with us that we definitely will take back to the base with us uh, we can leave the space food here for the moment Okay, so our next golden crate is out this direction. There's a blue crate. We're going to leave that one there. Is it over here? No, I think it's further over this way. When I started season one, I didn't really know where any of these crates were. And I discovered most of them on my own. Uh, but then a few people told me where some of them were as well. Which I kind of didn't like, but, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's trying to be helpful, and I appreciate that. I don't like spoilers, though. But, you know, since this is my second time playing through the game, there's not going to be a whole lot of that to worry about. Because I, aside from whatever they put in for the new content, I pretty much know what to expect now. All right, second golden crate, second golden seed. It's a beautiful thing. Lots of iridium and some uranium. Uh, do I have an iron? We need an iron. No surprise there. Another crate here. My goodness. You know what? Let's leave those crates alone. Let's not loot anything but golden crates for now. Uh, just because here again, if we wait, we'll get better stuff later. And we, we no longer need, uh, are in dire need of... Did I not pick up a piece of iron? What's the matter with me? Too busy yapping here. Uh, we're no longer in dire need of food seeds. We have enough to sustain ourselves. So let's chillax on the crates. Again, except for the golden crates. And the reason why those are important, even though, you know, we could maybe get better stuff later, is because of the golden seeds. You get enough of those early on, and it's going to make a huge difference. And that's what we're after. Where the hell's the iron? There we go. Good lord. Uh, we'll grab this one too. And that's a titanium. Okay, there's one more golden crate that's a little further that direction we're going to go after. Let's get back in here and get these next two storage crates down. Come on, let's get it straight. There we go. Uh, all right, put all that stuff in there. Okay, we're gonna go for just a little bit longer of a trek. I don't think I'm gonna try and put a shed down where we're going. So we just wanna make sure we have plenty of O2. Let's make an extra water. 
just to kind of preempt that. In fact, let's make an extra O2 as well. I don't think we'll need it, but better to be safe than sorry. All right, so we have three O2s and two waters. We should be able to stay out for a little bit longer now. We're going to leave the rest of the blue crates. Like I said, we're just going for that other golden crate with the golden seat. And then over in the starter area, which is back over there, there's one, two, th three, four that I'm aware of that we could nab for the golden seed. If we keep going this direction, we get out of the aluminum fields and into the spires. I'm not exactly sure if that's what this place is called, but... Most people that play this game that I've seen anyways call it the spires because they're spires. And it's also getting dark. At least we can move 15% faster, which is good. And it's also very red in this biome. There's a couple things we can loot. Um, what I am going to do, actually, well, let's do this on the way back. There's some microchips we can grab. There's no reason to wait on those. But let's get the golden crate first and be on our way back before we worry about the microchips. This golden crate I completely discovered by accident in Season 1, and it's right here. I was just uh, out and about messing around here. There's a cave that's probably iced up at the moment. Oh, it's not iced up. It's probably partially iced up. Okay. Well, it's good to know. Oh, there's our T2. Okay, beautiful. So our um, food grower is just right around the corner. And there we go. Okay, this is what we want is the golden seed. Oxygen's low, but that's not a problem because we have three O2 bottles on us. We're responsible breathers. All right, let's go ahead and pop one right now. Now, I think, like I said, I think there's a microchip back here. Oh, can we not even get back here right now without a jetpack? Oh, you know what? We can deconstruct this. In fact, you know what we're going to do? This is a little weird, but it's effective. We get all of the components for that. We're going to just build that T2 solar panel right there. Um, power is planet-wide in this game. I know it's a little weird, but that's the way that it works. And I'm not going to complain because we're going to use that to our advantage. Um, hmm. all right, you know what? I'm not going to open that. Um, okay, cool. So here's another one we can deconstruct and rebuild. Excellent. We're really getting the power now. And then I think a third one is here. Maybe someday in the in the far future, I'll come and remove those when we don't need them anymore. But for now, we need them. Let's grab that. Take that apart. We're not opening that crate right now. Is there, uh, yeah, there's two crates in here. Nice. Okay, let's scooch on back. We have accomplished our mission here. Um, and we even made three. Yeah, we made three tier two solar panels which should support three food growers already. We're making damn good progress, man. Damn good progress. Okay, take another O2, and we might as well take a water. There are four crates inside of there that we can get later. We'll leave them alone for now. Okay, so we're going to kind of pick and choose what we're going to bring back. Can I we just have the one thingy of a microchip. What do I need for a screen? I need a silicon. We never put anything in there? I guess not. Come on, silicon. It's aluminum. We'll leave that there for now. Uh, 
that's an iron. Here's a silicon. You get to get to recognizing these after a while. This is just going to save us an inventory slot. Let's make the blueprint screen. And then we can... Tier 2 agility boots. Can we make those right now? We need two super alloy and two fabric. Uh, all right. Here's our supers. We'll grab those. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take back the things that are the most important. So golden seeds. Food. Uh, the rods are very important, but not necessarily right at this moment. Let's put the aluminum back in there. Uh, we'll take the uranium, I suppose. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, well, let's take this super, and, and I think I will go ahead and take the rods in the iridium. The aluminum we can get close to the base, so we don't have to take that for now. Let's turn this into another water and grab that rod. All right, we're going to move all of this stuff back to our... Uh, our temporary base back at the spaceship. And I think I have two fabrics over there. If we do, we'll make these tier two agility boots, which will give us a 30% movement increase. It is a beautiful thing. Let's take this right now. And we're in good shape. We have at least one O2 and one water. Let's cruise. We might go just a little bit longer in this episode. Um, I actually typically have lo longer episodes than the, the usual 30 minute anyways. Um, the only reason I stopped the first episode as soon as I did is because I had to go somewhere in real life. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to keep you with me long enough to grab the other four golden crates. And then in the next episode, the plan will be to get massive oxygen production going and food production going. But we'll do that over at our ice plane space because, like I said, we, you know, we want to stay there and start there until we're really, you know, get our feet under us, and then we'll probably come back over here to make our first, you know, permanent base. But if everything goes according to plan, the first of many permanent bases. There's one cloth. Ha ha! We can do it. Look at this. Okay, tier two agility boots. Boom, baby. We can now move thirty percent faster. That's a beautiful thing. All right, let's put all this stuff in here. Oh, that can go in there. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to haul back, but now I can move 30% faster when I do it off camera. Isn't that beautiful? It is a lovely thing. All right, so let me think. Do I want to set up? We got quite a ways to travel. Probably would be wise to set up a, a way station so let's grab two of these, four of these, and uh, we need silicon. Eh, we'll pick silicon up along the way. Do I have two cobalt to make an extra O2 just to really be on the safe side? Because remember, if we die, we lose all the shit in our inventory. I'm not going to dump it out on the ground. We're going to lose it because that's the penalty for being stupid and dying. So we're not going to be stupid. <laughs> we're going to play it safe, man. We are going to play it safe. All right, let's make this. All right, we should be good to go. But we do need to pick up two silicon along the way. Here's one right here. Here's the other one. All right, we're in Bidnid. Okay, we're going to go around this whole area... The first gold chest is there, the second one's there, the third one's there, and the fourth one's in there. We're going to be creating so much oxygen, the planet's not going to know what to do with itself. For those of you who do not know, this whole valley will become a big, huge lake later on. And it's absolutely gorgeous around here, too, when that happens. Okay, now I discovered what I'm about to show you after I actually fi finished season one because I was watching somebody else on YouTube. But there is, I think right here, a hidden area. 
that you can deconstruct. Look at this. And there is... Oh, there's a dead guy. Well, I guess this doesn't have a golden chest. Didn't this used to be a golden chest? Huh. All right. This is uh, Ziadon. You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You didn't. You, you don't even care. All you care about is profit and colonization. Whoever thought this was a good idea should go to hell. A pardon was never part of the plan. Be cursed, Sentinel Corp. Okay, so that's the first of several stories that we're going to run into as we go along. But I'm mistaken. I thought that was a golden chest, and maybe it was. Maybe they changed that. There we go. That's our food grower. That is... Whoop. Shit. Uh, that is what we've been waiting for. It's just a matter now of getting back to our base and getting it all set up, which we will do in the next episode. Okay, so I sand corrected, or actually sit corrected. Uh, that is not a golden chest, but it is a secret, and it is pretty cool. We won't check the blue chest in there. We'll wait and let it get better shit in it for later on. Okay, the next golden chest is, I, I can actually see it from here. It's right where my crosshairs are. Let's head over there. Yeah, this whole area will be underwater later on. You can still get the resources if you need them, but by that time, you're not usually looking, you know, or handpicking a whole lot of stuff off the ground. This is a golden chest still, so that's good. All right, we'll take all of that and break it down for the super alloy and the aluminum. Oh my God, we're already out of space for Pete's sake. Well, you know what, though? We were going to set that shack up anyway. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll set it up by the ship because we need a shack there for looting that ship anyway. There are several blue chests down here. We'll probably leave them alone until later. Just because here again, we don't really need to get to them now. We've got everything we need to really get our feet under us and uh, get a good start here. So we might as well wait and let them ferment, if that's the right word. For better shit later. We could even apply that principle to this ship too. We don't necessarily need to go in here right now. We will later and because of that we might as well take and put a shack down and uh, whoop, right there. And it'll be here for us when we need it. Okay, we got our breath back. We got waters and stuff. Let's actually take that one piece of iron and make one little storage thingy. Might as well. Of course, by the time when we come back here later, we'll probably have the big storage, but that's okay. All right, other golden chest for those of you who don't know is right to there, and they didn't change that. More golden seed, beautiful. Okay, that's uh. Yep, that completely fills us up. And it looks like... Um, oh, shit. Be careful. I don't have a jetpack yet. I'm so used to having one. Um, It looks too like... The ice is... Nope, the ice has not melted yet on this cave. Okay. So we'll come back and exploit that at some point in the future. We have one more gold chest to grab. And it's going to be way back down this way close to where we currently are. Just walk along the cliffs here. Oh man, I love the new music, you guys. It is just so amazing. Mostly because it's not the same damn thing over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that is good stuff. I think I read something like there's 20 plus, more than 20, I think, don't quote me on that, but more than 20 new soundtracks for this game. Well, considering there was only one before, 20 is is a lot, and it's just awesome. And it helps, it, you know, it's it's really good for the mood, too. If you guys play this game by yourself and you're not doing a YouTube and you're not blabbing all the time, you know, the, the music really helps you, you know, immerse you in the game. But it's my job to blab all the time because I'm doing YouTube, so you won't maybe feel that when I'm playing. <laughs> I mean, when you're watching me, rather, I should say. It's all good though. It's the way it works. Okay, let's go ahead and again offload stuff into here. Oh, thirsty. 
There we go. Wouldn't that suck if I lost all my stuff inside the base? That would be rage quit time, man. I'm serious. We would just like say, okay, fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> that would be so bad. Uh, I'd actually just delete everything and start all over again. The whole damn series. You know, because this is only episode two, so we could do that. But no, that's not going to happen. Um, all right, so we're good on water. We could stand a bite to eat. We got plenty of food, so we're good to go there. Let's go grab that last golden crate. Which is going to be in this cave over here. Hey, look at that. We got a useless double bed. <laughs> uh, I wish the beds had some kind of buff. You know, most survival games, if you have a bed and you sleep in it, it does something for you, like heals you or something, but they're purely decoration in this game. That's all right. Can't have everything, I suppose. Yep. We have two O2 bottles. Yeah, we're good. This cave has a bunch of iridium in it, so we can come back here and grab a mess of it when we need to, but we've already looted quite a bit of it just, you know, from the crates and everything. All right, so I think the gold crate we're after is going to be over here, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. Um, all right, I think it, maybe it's up on this next level here. Okay, when that melts, it'll go out into a new biome with some sulfur in it. We can still get to it, but we'd have to go the long way around, which we don't want to do at this point. All right, where in the hell is that crate at? It's, is it under there? It's around here somewhere. I mean, assuming it's still there. I, I, would, I don't see why it wouldn't be. And maybe that secret area that we, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, maybe that secret area that we found... was not um maybe that wasn't a golden chest i i just thought it was but could be wrong about that okay let's take an o2 and head on back and we're back all right all right ladies and gentlemen i think we're gonna wrap up the episode here what i'm gonna do is haul all of these golden seeds and um well actually i'm probably going to take all of this back or at least the vast majority of it um to our ice field base and in the next episode we're going to make a shit ton of um veggie tubes sorry i, I wanted to call them oxygen tubes but they're veggie tubes but that's really what they are uh, to put all the golden flowers in and we're gonna oh good we got the tier two exoskeleton let's make that right now uh what do i need two mags a titanium and a silicon i don't have any basic ores in here um anyway yeah so we're gonna and then we'll get our food growers down and get started with our food and once I feel like we're really solidly have our feet underneath us, um, I don't know. We'll 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 see what we're gonna do. I I want to move over here more for production purposes in the future, and it is quite literally a very beautiful place too. But the ice fields are supposed to be pretty sexy too, from you know what the start of the game is telling us. So I'll give that some thought. Put it this way, we're gonna have a base of some sort in the ice fields no matter what, and we're gonna have a base of some sort over here no matter what too. But we will start with the ice field because again, that's that's the intent of this series to start there. Um, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.